Hello everyone, Mega here. In today's video I'm going to showcase visually the effects of the removal of time snap. So I'm not sure if the infamous removal of time snap caused this, but lot, lots of people seem to be sure of it. I'm not gonna talk about time snap itself, that's a long matter, pretty complicated, and I think you should probably Google it around on Reddit, there is some posts uh, detailing it, so you can find all the information there. So after the recent ranked tournament I played, tournaments, plural, uh, I uploaded some of them yesterday, I faced this Orochi in one of them, and I felt like his stoplights were getting through my guard. This happened a lot of times during the various matches we had, I even risked losing that one. So what happens here, you can see, my guard disappears here, goes uh, greyed out, let's say, and attack hits me. Alright, so what happens here, I, I don't think the attack is going through my guard, I hope it, that's not the case, I think that's me trying to parry or crushing counter strike to with, without wrong timing, okay? But I'm like, why is this up, why do I mess up so often, do I suck, why can I not block, let alone parry, a lot of these uh, light attacks thrown at me? This is a question many of you probably have asked yourself, so I've decided to take my time and actually analyze what's going on here. Alright, I'm gonna count frames for the attacks. I'm using frames instead of milliseconds because it's easier and it's visually more intuitive. Alright, so the first frame I'm counting is the one where the attack indicator pops up. So this is frame 1. Then we go to, to, uh, along, right? I'm going through them so you don't, you don't think I'm skipping any frames. And I'm stopping counting when the attack hits me, when the health is decreased, here. Well, here is a block, however, so it doesn't really count, actually. 24 frame is where the block happens. So this Orochi top light here was 24 frame. You can you can argue that blocking timing is different, and we can go for this one here, for example. Check this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Until 24 frame, I am it. So a 24 frame attack roughly equals to 400 milliseconds, and that's... That's not what the timing should be, but we're gonna get into that later. For example, here, Orochi goes on frame. We're still talking about just top lights. We're not gonna talk about zone attacks since uh, the timing is iffy there. Uh, zone attacks with the flicker, sometimes it's hard to determine how much of the animation or whatever. Okay, so first frame. You can see here the attack is... Well, you, you can argue it's blocked here. 30 frame long. Okay, compared to the 24 frame here and 24 frame here. So what's going on? What is this inconsistency? This is weird, isn't it? So I decided to go in uh, custom matches and play against a bot. Sorry, it's here. There it is. Play against a bot and see. So bot have zero latency. So let's see what top light from Orochi is supposed to look like. How, how long is that supposed to be? So we can see here, top light lasts from one frame, you can see one frame, up until... Look look at this, 30 frame, that's the duration, a lot of players have reported this back in the day, or actually top light is 30 frame, someone say 29 frame, it depends how you calculate it, but from, with my calculation from when the indicator appears to when you take damage, is 30 frame long, and this is consistent. Here, again, top light. Bam. You take damage here. 30 frame. Okay, here is the same. One. You see one. And there you go. 30 only 30 frame you take damage. This is consistent. This is what top light from Orochi is supposed to look like. It's supposed to be this speed, and that's what the game is balanced around. You don't balance your game based on a top light. This is this uh, these are some tests, okay? I played with Bark at first. Thank you, Barket, for helping me record, and thank you, Krog, for helping me record. We're gonna show your footage later. So, Barket is from Romania, so there is a little distance. Romania, Italy is not too far, but there is some distance. So let's see what the attacks look like with little latency. One frame, and there you go, 24 frame. This is six less frame than the other attack. This is huge on fast attacks like this. This is the same speed as a, zone, a peacekeeper zone attack without latency, pretty much. Okay, this is crazy. 
What about here? Let's see. One frame. <coughs> Up until 24 again. So this is, is this consistent? One frame. Bam. Block. 24. One frame. There you go. 24. So this seems to be consistent. All attacks are considerably faster. Consistently. Sometimes there is some, but there is some discrepancy. For example, the guy here, one of his top lights took 30 frame or 29 or 30. So what's going on here? I I've decided to so Barkit, for example, during the testing, what all his attacks were faster. So I decided to test with Krog, who is Italian. So supposedly we shouldn't have much latency at all. Correct? No. It's not correct. 24 frames still. One. There you go. 24. E2024. 20, Here, this is something weird, for example. One frame. And this is the correct duration. 30 frame. So it's inconsistent even with Italian players. Between Italian players. That's weird. So basically what time snap does, guys, is make every attack. What, sorry, what the removal of time snap does is make every attack faster. And we need to I I know Ubisoft. Uh, the developers Roman has addressed this but I don't think that's enough at the moment it didn't seem like they're working they said they're working on a solution but I'm, I'm not sure they realize what the what the times and removal did so I'm doing this video to bring that to the attention of everyone so I, I wish you guys can share this video put it on the reddit whatever so that the developers can see this I'm gonna tweet this to Pope so um, I've decided for good measure like one could argue that that's normal latency of course there's gonna be some latency between matches and you're not gonna get the same timing you get in a bot match against normal players so if the top light is 30 frame in in bot matches with no latency whatsoever it cannot be 30 frame in pvp matches so is that true is is it really was it really the same before the timestamp removal so i decided to sadly i don't have the proper footage anymore I, I don't have the original files, but I decided to download one of my videos, old videos, from YouTube. This is one of my very first videos, this is like, I don't know, February, even March maybe. This is very long ago, uh, during the game, let's say, release. And I was facing Oscar here, I'm not sure where Oscar is from, I'm, I, I'm sure he's not Italian. And you can see his stop lights here, of course there's gonna be some little discrepancy because this is not... Like, the, a little frames went missing, of course, because this is from YouTube. But anyway, you can probably see already. Check this out. One frame. You see, some frames are the same, some frames are missing. So there's gonna be one um, additional or less frame sometimes. But you can see the attacks were 30 frames long. Actually, it's, tw it's, sorry, it's 29 here. For example, it's 29 here. 29. This is before times and removal. One frame. 29 again what do we have here one frame 31 you see as I told you there's some discrepancy with, uh, with one frame but we're, we're one frame off sometimes but still these are the correct length the correct duration and that's crazy like the, the system was apparently working properly so why change it what happened and can't we get something like this back I think we need because having every attack fast it's hell you like when you're facing uh, light spamming let's say light spamming gladiator or whatever it's very hard to block them it's for me it's become almost impossible to parry a berserker light attack if they are not being super obvious with their patterns this is crazy so let's watch this in movement just to get uh, a head idea of it so this is the bot check as you get an idea of the speed Okay, this is Barket. Okay, and this is with Oscar. Okay, so I hope that this video was interesting to you guys. As I said, please share this, make this relevant so that the developers can have a look at this. They are, I, I don't, I'm not bashing them. I mean, there is a lot of complicated 
things going on in game developing, I'm sure of it. But still, I think this needs to be taken and brought up to their attention. So that they can at least discuss this in the next Warriors Den. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of it. I'm very curious to hear if you have experienced something similar. I'm pretty sure all of you have to a degree. So please do leave a comment and let me know. Have a good day.